Hey everyone, so that's just a quick video to show you how you can use XCA uh, to create the certificate of authority and use this certificate of authority to sign your certificate so that you can use it for the industrial edge management. And if you want, you can also create one for the industrial edge device. Yeah? So rather than you using the self sign certificate, you can use your own. Um, the advantage here is that you can just trust the CA uh, and use this rather than, uh, than trusting individual certificates. Also, um, if you do it properly, you know, you would have uh, a, a system in place for creating individual certificates, for managing CAs, for managing revocation lists and so on. This video is mainly just to um, give you a hand if you are setting an IEM for test purposes and you'd like to use your own custom certs. This is how you can do it. By no means it's the definitive answer. I'm no expert on certificates. I'm no expert on XCA. Uh, what's XCA anyway? So XCA is a, a really cool uh, small certificate and key management tool. Yeah, so you can use it to create your own certificates. These certificates will not be publicly trusted, so you will still get the message, but you can trust either the certs or you can trust the uh, the CA that you are going to use um, to sign them with. Yeah. So it can be quite helpful for uh, for test systems, for demo systems, for for some home uh, self-hosted things if you don't have uh, a domain and you can't create publicly trusted certificates. Okay, so I have XCA downloaded already. Uh, it's a free tool. You can download it from the website that we just saw. So we need to create a new database. We'll call it UTB. I'm not very creative. Give it a password. Then we will create a new certificate. We'll create a CA first, yeah. So the certificate of authority. I'm gonna call it a hedge CA. Leave this should be enough. You could of course add all the other nice things, but I think this is the, the bare minimum, uh, at least for Reg. Okay, so we have a, a CA now, and I can now create a new certificate for the um for the server itself, so for the IEM. So I'm going to use this template that's going to make my life a bit easier. Uh, I'm going to be using this for IEM internal. The common name is IEM internal. Uh, I'm going to generate a new key. Okay. And as you can see, the extension is already set for us. The sun is set for us. And it, it's important because if that the sun is incorrect, then you will be able to onboard the IEM. But when you try to onboard the ID, the industrial edge device, you will get errors saying, hey, the sun is not set up and you will need to recreate your cert and so on. The default for this is, is a year, basically. Feel free to, to change it. I'm going to leave it as, as the default. And as you can see, the key usage uh, is already as, um, ticked as well. Yeah, so the, the right thing should be, should be done for us. We then go and just export this. By default, exports as a PAM uh, and a dot cert, and this is all good for the for the edge for the IEM. And then we need to export the private key. By default, exports as dot PAM, and this is not good for the IEM that isn't happy with dot PAM uh, extension. Uh, it's happy with dot PAM format, so we just need to change the extension to dot key. Uh, let's just refresh it, uh, and yeah. Uh, these should be fine. You can now take these and you can use them uh, for onboarding your management system onto the hub. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching.